In yesterday's episode, we won our third trophy of the season, taking home the CONCACAF Central American Cup. So we've added that to our Costa Rican Cup and our Super Copa. We have a shot at a fourth trophy today. Spoiler alert, we took care of Santos in the second leg. Ala Hualense is the opponent. We are going for the opening stage trophy for the second consecutive season. <laughs> And welcome back one and all to episode number 69 of the American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane. If you've enjoyed the series so far, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe to the channel, please, and thank you. We have a Classico National Derby, two of them actually, in the finals of the opening stage. If we win on aggregate in these two matches against Alajuelense, then we get to skip the grand final. We'll lift our fourth trophy and be just that one step closer to our goal of winning the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Should we lose? Well, we just do it all over again with two more derbies. And even though his performances have been just okay recently after resting him in the second leg of the opening stage semifinal against Santos, Steven Aquista returns to the lineup who will be paired in the midfield with Jorge Valverde. Buheni is going to be in goal. Our back four is going to be Bakar Gonzalez, Coronel, and Cordero. Tusha and Ofari on the wings. Marrera at the 10. And our striker today is Esteban Cordero. While we have gotten a ton of productivity this season out of Edward Lopez, we have had more goals called back that came off of his foot for offside than any other player. So we don't want to take any chances in this one we want to press our advantage we are at home for the first leg of this competition and just like in the central american cup the desire today is to put ourselves in a position where we can not have to worry about keeping our foot on the gas for the second leg are we going to most likely do we want to have to absolutely not first salvo of the match will clatter off of the post but Saprisa on the counterattack. Tusha taken down. That happened in the second leg of the semifinals as well. He was taken out by a two-legged slide. Because of the injury that he's coming back from, he has definitely been the target of the opposition's hard play. What a call from Jorge Valverde. Spins, fires, finds top bins. It's 1-0. What an absolutely beautiful start to the match. And Saprisa looking for more. 13 minutes in. Off of the throw-in. Steven Akista in the midfield. will just lay it back to Freddy Gonzalez. Hope to open up a little bit of space. Akista for Marrero. He's got Cordero. Swept away from him. Played over. Ofori will win it back. Akista. Now at the edge of the circle. Nice switch of play over to Vitan Tusha in the near corner. Back once again for Akista. Freddy Gonzalez. Surveying the land in front of him before laying it off to his left to Hisham Bakar. Bakar toward the byline, throwing it in back post. Cannot pick out Cordero, but one back by Ofori. Hugo Cordero with a shot. That'll sail into the crowd. Goal kick for Alajolense. To be perfectly frank, we don't need a ton of scoring, but a two-goal lead will go a long way, and Esteban Cordero provides it. His 18th of the year, just under the crossbar from the free kick. It's 2-0. Whoa, Nelly, what an absolute blast. Alajolense with just a single shot on goal. They have yet to find the target, but they are looking to ask a question of the Saprisa defense here in the 29th minute. Gamboa still dribbling with it, takes it wide before leaving it for Cordero. Back to Gamboa, flipping it into the box. Gonzalez will head it away, but Mora is going to track that down along the byline. Mora looking to go into the middle, picked off by Tusha and Saprisa going the other way. Aquista up ahead. Morera, his pass blocked by Valencia. Gets it back. Valverde Cordero. He's taken down. Ofori picks up the loose ball. Morera into the box. Shoots and puts it wide. Diego Morera coming agonizingly close to making it 3-0. Off of the corner. Coronel can't win the header. Tusha will track it down. Plays it back. Hugo Cordero to his right foot. Drops it for Tusha. He'll take the shot and he will score. His ninth goal of the year. Vitan Tusha is back, baby. It's 3 Nil Saprisa. An absolutely commanding first half performance at home 
in the first leg of this opening stage final. We led Alajuelense by 20 points and beat them both times we played them. But they played into the box. Alfaro will drop it back to Cordero along the edge of the box. Pushes it inside across for Carlos Andre Mora. He'll find Paydirt his third of the season. And it's 3-1. Every time I start talking about a dominant performance from Saprisa, and we immediately turn around and give up a goal. 3-1 after 45. Again, showing a low level of disappointment in the team during the halftime team talk, hoping to spur them on for more. Just a single shot on target for Alajuelense. It was the goal that brought this game back within two. Tusha has his pass intercepted by Mora. Valencia will flip it ahead. He's got Rogerio with a bit of space in the midfield. Leaves it left for Perez ahead. Alfaro running forward are two of the Alajuelense players. Valverde will knock it away for a while, but they get it back. Alfaro is in, and Buhene has to get his hand on it and tip it wide to prevent a second Alajuelense goal. We cannot take our foot off the gas, and we cannot allow Alajuelense to get back into this tie. Alajuelense starting to catch up in number of shots on goal as the activity in the second half has definitely been tilted their way a little bit. We are still enjoying 61% of the possession. But a free kick from a dangerous position for Alajuelense. Alfaro looking to make it a one-goal game, but he will miss the target. Looking to make some alterations. We've got some tired players out there. Vitan Tusha is going to come out. We're going to move Kelvin Ofori over to the left-hand side, which means that Daniel Torres is going to come in on the right. Ofori kind of tired himself, so we're going to have to keep our eye on him. Diego Marrera will make way for Edward Lopez. Those are the two changes we're going to make at this juncture. Probably looking to make a few more before this game is done. Saprisa enjoying a 3-1 lead with 23 minutes or so remaining in this match. Hugo Cordero in control on the right side will leave it for Valverde, taking his time to get it back to Cordero. Up the line, Torres into the middle. He's got Lopez. What a ball through. Esteban Cordero is in his 19th of the year, second on the night, and it is 4-1. Well, that makes me feel a whole heck of a lot better. Alfaro is going to come out. We're going to move Hichim Bakar up to the left wing and bring in Michael Sambataro as our left back as we make one additional alteration to the lineup with just about 15 minutes remaining in this match and what has turned out to be a very comfortable 4-1 lead. Off of the dead ball, play to Cordero, who will leave it back for Coronel, who got things started. Once again, taking his time, evaluating the pressure before laying it back to Buhene to get things restarted. Up the left side, Freddy Gonzalez in control. Bakar quickly to Lopez. Great pass by Lopez led to the fourth goal. Still with it as he pushes it wide to the left. Lopez taking it deep into the middle. There's the hat trick for Esteban Cordero. He's got 20 goals on the year and it's 5-1 Saprisa. I mean, at the end of the day, we really could not have asked for more except to keep Alajuelense off of the score sheet one more time from the corner. They still control it. Mora will drive it, pick up his second of the game, his fourth of the year, to bring our lead down to three. All right, guys, you've proved your point. That is enough. Let's get to full time. Let's take a three-goal lead to Alajuelense in the second leg. 5-2, your score, a hat-trick for Esteban Cordero. Goals from Jorge Valverde, a goal of the year candidate in my uh, estimation. And a first-half goal in the 36th minute by Vitan Tusha. All in all, a very, very nice Saprisa win. We head to Alajuelense for the second leg with a single goal in our minds, and that is to not cough up our aggregate lead. To that point... Well, we've got a pretty impressive starting lineup. Buheni's going to be in goal. It's going to be Bacar, Gonzalez, Barantes, and Valverde as our back four. Hugo Cordero feeling a little bit gassed after all of the football he's been playing. Aquista and Alejandro Braun will be paired up in the midfield. It'll be Federico Quiros at the 10. Tusha and Ofori on the wings. And up front once again, Esteban Cordero. I mean, dude scores a hat trick in one of our biggest matches of the year. Yeah, he's going to get a second consecutive 
start. We snapped all of Juan Lince's winning streak at two. We're hoping to keep them without a victory here today. All we need to do is lose by fewer than three goals and we are fine. Obviously, a win will go a long way. We will lift our fourth trophy of the year as we are named opening stage champions. And Hishem Bakar sending in the corner will be handled, though, by Kuzhenikov, who will look to send it long as the Alapolense team tries to get forward. However, the ball is going to come to Barantes getting the start today. Played ahead. Ofori quickly in for Kiros. Dispossessed. Acuna looking to go in the other direction. Kiros coming back, though, taking it away. Ofori with the ball, moving it through the midfield. His pass up for Vitan Tusha is intercepted, however. And once again, Alaholense in control up the far sideline. Tusha will take it away from Mora. A lot of back and forth dispossession happening. Great defensive play from both teams. Cordero quickly to Kiros. Out wide to the left. Tusha, he's got a runner in Esteban Cordero. And that's going to be Cordero's 21st goal of the year. Except the flag is up and the goal has been called back. And even worse, Cordero is going to be coming off of the pitch with an injury. It's another potential upper body injury which means Edward Lopez, captain offsides, is going to be coming in. Again, I sound like I'm being disrespectful to Edward Lopez and what he has contributed to the team. Remember, we signed him to a new three-year deal before this season began. We like Edward Lopez. We would just like him to stay onside just a little bit more. Fed through, Jorge Valverde, is he onside? If he is, it's his sixth of the year, and the flag will stay down. It's 1-0 on the night, 6-2 on aggregate and we are looking for even more Barantes for Braun wide for Valverde he's going to be challenged we'll play back in the middle Barantes across Freddy Gonzalez Akista quickly ahead he's got Lopez holding things up throwing it to the left looking for Hichimbakar but finding Mora for Alapalense instead laid back to Kozhevnikov looking to send it into the Saprisa end can't find his man Knotted down. Rogerio, though, in control. Mora up the right wing. Trying to push it past uh, one man. Does get it through. Alfaro played down. Acuna. Montero picks up the loose ball and still can't hit the empty net. And more rough news for Saprisa as a second player going down in the first half. Diego Marrero coming in in place of Fabrizio Quiros. Having to make two changes in the first 20 Eight minutes of the match wasn't exactly our game plan. It leaves us with just one substitution window outside of halftime. But I think if things continue on their way, we've got a four-goal lead. If Alapolense doesn't do much, and oh my goodness gracious, we will not have an opportunity to make substitutions unless we just take Steven Akista off. I don't know if that's even an option. It doesn't appear to be, so we are going to have to make our final change. It's going to be Valverde coming in in place of Aquista and Hugo Cordero. Come on in, finish what you started. But we will not have an opportunity to make any changes to the lineup in the second half because that injury happened at the end of the first half. It was a good one. We have a 1-0 lead. All we need to do is maintain our current position. We're up 6-2 on aggregate. Ten minutes have gone by so far in the second half as Kozhevnikov looks to send it into our end. Alfaro can't control the header. It will be picked up by Hugo Cordero. Again, remember, no changes can be made by Saprisa in this second half. One back, Marrera, weak throw uh, forward. Tusha can't get there. Played over the defense. Rogerino is in and he cannot beat Buheni. So Mora is going to take the corner. Another beautiful opportunity for Alohalense that went a begging. Acuna playing it back out wide. Mora sending it back into the box. But the effort in from Valencia will be a weak one. And I'm starting to look at some tired legs out there for Saprisa. And they're just going to need to suck it up. Ball headed clear off of the corner. Mora back for Acuna. Challenged by Cordero along the edge of the box. They're calling a penalty and a chance for Alahuelense to tie things up 
on the night and get themselves back within three with 30 minutes left to go. And Acuna will slot it home and take care of business. Fifth goal of the year for Christopher Acuna. And we are once again tied at one on the evening. Alajuelense taking the lead in shots on goal now 10 to 7. We are still enjoying the lion's share of the possession. The XG battle, though, is going very much in the way of the home team. 12 and a half minutes or so remaining in the original 90. We are in control. Lopez taken down. Valencia already on a yellow card is going to pick up a second. And he will be sent off. Ala Valencia down to 10 men with less than 10 minutes to go. And down by three goals. And this, my friends, is pretty much going to be that. Just another highlight or two that we're going to have to sit through. But it is elementary at this point. Saprisa is going to be named champions of the opening stage, regardless of whether Alajuelense gets another goal here. Barante's terrible ball. Alfaro missed it. Alajuelense fluffing their lines three times in this match. They could have made it a game. They could have made it a tie. They could have made things very interesting for us. But ultimately, we hang on to a 1-1 draw on the night. Win 6-3 on aggregate because this was the final and not the grand final. Once again, the FA came unprepared. They should have learned last year during the closing stage. But we have officially won the opening stage and we have officially completed in half a season the quadruple. And that's right, my friends. We are just half of the way there. We have won four out of four trophies that we have been vying for so far. Two more remain on the table. There is the closing stage, which is set to begin in just a couple of weeks. 22 more matches, plus playoffs, as we all know. Plus, we have qualified for the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Wouldn't it be brilliant if we win that one as well and take home all six? If you enjoyed that video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all very much for your support. I will see you back next time for more action here as we chase our American dream. Until then, bye-bye.